All right, so I got you. All right, got that out the way with Shakol. So let's talk about fluids. What makes certain body fluids acceptable during sex, but sometimes they're not acceptable during sex? Because I don't want to say that the fluids are different because sometimes the fluids aren't different. The way we utilize them may be different. But what makes it acceptable sometimes, but other times it's not acceptable, okay? So let's start off talking about saliva, okay? When we're kissing, when we're sucking, when we're getting ate out, when we're giving head, Saliva is great. We need lots of it. When we kiss, and I love old nasty ass passionate kiss. Old juicy kiss. I like that shit. Some people don't like kissing at all. But a lot of y'all that are like me and that enjoy kissing, y'all like it to be like real passionate and you know, you don't mind tonguing each other down and all of this kind of stuff. Right? It's, it's acceptable. When he going down, the one thing that y'all said in the uh, video with the pastor was, y'all ain't see, it wasn't wet enough. It was too clean. Y'all was saying that it wasn't sloppy enough. It wasn't wet enough. It, it, was, it, it needed to be a little more messy. A lot of y'all said that. Talk to me because you know I can see everything that's being said, right? Talk to me. We like saliva. Oh, ain't nothing like when we sucking dick and we give an old nasty slop ass blowjob and we sucking and we got shit dripping all out our mouth everywhere. Right? We love that shit. Right? Right? Let me know if we love it. Because from my understanding, oh, when the blowjob nasty and slop and spit everywhere, we like that shit. Right? But yet, this we talking about saliva. This same saliva is unacceptable if we were to be having sex and a motherfucker just spit on you. What happened? What made it acceptable at one point, but then once the same saliva turned into spit, meaning that we spitting, that ain't acceptable. Imagine a motherfucker got you on your back, legs in the air, fucking the shit out of you and just spit in your face. A lot of y'all like, oh, hell no. It's over with. He got to get up. Sex is over. It was disrespectful. It was uncalled for. It was degrading. It was all of this kind of stuff. But that same saliva, if you suck in the dick and you spit on the dick or you spit on the pussy, it's acceptable. What made it change? Please tell me. Is it because the spit happened to your face and now when it comes down to your face, certain things are off limits for you? Or is it that you've been trained mentally to believe that when a person spits on you, it's disrespectful? Explain it to me. I'm trying to understand because I think sometimes we put a lot, a lot of thought into sex. And then when we have a sex, we try to bring logic over into sex. And we try to um, rationalize what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And because, yes, it is your saliva, but you spit on me, it was unacceptable. But yet that same saliva that came out that same mouth, you could kiss me in my mouth with it. What made it change? Explain it to me. Yes, I'm so glad that you said that, Treba. We associate spit with being disrespected. That's what the problem is. It's the way we view it mentally. And what happens is we try to bring our mind, we overthinking sex. When we are having sex, we're not just enjoying the moment. We're not just taking a moment for what it is and a motherfucker caught up in a moment and just decided they wanted to do some shit and they did it and all of a sudden we feel played. What if I'm up there riding the dick and then I, I all of a sudden just spit up in his face? 
Is he gonna be offended? Or is he gonna be like, take your hands and rub that shit in, baby? Or when I spit on him, did that shit turn him on and make his dick even harder? Cause I took it there. I, I, I did something that was so fucking taboo. And that shit just, it just fucked him up in the head and was like, yes, I'm loving that shit. Do that shit. Just dog my ass out. Fuck over me. Just do what the fuck you want to do to me because I'm yours. Is that the mentality that we had? Or do we, did we take what goes on in our logic and bring it over into the bedroom? What happened? Okay. It's mental. It's mental. So you're saying, I don't have a problem with spit. You just can't do it in my face. That's a boundary. So my next question is, let's move on. Let's move on from spit. The next fluid we're going to talk about is pussy juice and nut. Pussy juice and nut. Oh, it is exciting. Acceptable when he eating that pussy and you coming and it's all over his face, right? When he eating the pussy and and it's and, and it's all over the face, or we sucking the dick, right? And he nut and it's all over our hands, cause we'll we'll beat that dick and let him nut and it's all over our hands, right? Or either he'll finger us and. And we can nut and it's all over his hands and his hands sticking, we'll play with it, right? But you giving that same blowjob, right? And that shit get in your mouth or that shit get on your face or get on your body, that same nut is unacceptable. That same pussy juice now is unacceptable. Oh, I can, I can ride your dick and I can squirt all over your dick while you inside of me and I can get up and you all wet up all over your body, but you down there eating my pussy and guess what? I squirt in your face. Is it a problem now? It's the same pussy juice. It's the same nut. Tell me what is the difference? I wanted to talk about fluids because I really wanted to understand what goes on when we dealing with fluids and sex. Okay, we see the women with the cucumbers and they bringing up this fucking mucus from all out the deep pits of their stomach, right? What is mucus? What is mucus? What is snot? It's not mucus? Is mucus snot? Is it different because the snot came out, I mean, the, because the mucus came from up out of your stomach through your mouth? Or is it different when, we, when the snot come out your nose and you give it head? What's the difference? Talk to me. Or is it the same mucus? Or did it change from mucus to snot because it came out the nose versus it coming out the mouth? Talk to me. This is fluids. Let's talk about piss play. Some people feel like piss play is just out the, it, 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 it's off limits completely. But let me tell you a little bit about piss play. A lot of times when people do, when people do piss play, a lot of times it has to do with territorial, like animal instincts type of sex, meaning that I walk in the room and I piss on the bed because I'm marking my territory. People really do this shit, yes. I'm pissing on you because I'm marking my territory. It's mine. I'm, I'm looking for the comments. We're going to talk about sweat. We're going to talk about sweat. We're going to get there because that's another fluid. Right now we're talking about piss play. When a motherfucker piss on you or want you to piss on them or for whatever reason they want to play and piss. So let me tell you a little bit about piss play. One, if you have a UTI, you cannot participate in piss play. The reason why is because when you piss, that infection is coming out in your piss. If you are taking medications, you cannot participate in piss play because when you piss, that medication is coming out in your piss, okay? If you want the piss to taste a little more sweet, the same way the cum will taste sweet, drink the pineapple juice. Make sure you're taking in a whole lot of fruit. 
Another way to do piss play is make sure you, um, a lot of times it's easier in the shower because the cleanup process is a lot easier. But if you're going to do it in the bed, make sure you have a mattress protector on the bed. Okay? So, moving on. Sweat. I love, you know what? I know that there are times where I will, I will have sex and I will turn the air conditioner off before I have sex. I will completely turn the air conditioner off. Why do I turn the air conditioner off when I'm having sex? Tell me why. Why would I turn the air conditioner off before I start having sex? Or drop the unit down to where it's not coming on as often. Or when it gets to a certain temperature in the house, then it comes on. Why? Because sometimes it ain't nothing like some hot, sweaty ass sex. Meaning that I'm riding and that I'm riding that dick and the sweat running all down my back. Like you literally, your body's perspiring and you're gripping each other and you're hot and you're sweaty and it's passionate and it feels good. Because guess what? The warmer your body is, the easier it is for you to have orgasms. Your body heats up, literally heats up. The warmer your body is, the easier it is for you to have orgasms. Yes, 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 yes. You're talking about slip root wet sex. Yes, your auntie likes to sweat. Sometimes I like having old nasty ass throwback 1999 sweat, sweaty ass sex when we ain't have central and he type sex. <laughs> Who remember winter units? And, and you trying to keep the house cool, but the house ain't really cool. And you got a fan somewhere. But I turn the fan off because the fan used to dry my pussy out. So I turn the fan off. Who remember that type of sex? Oh, throwback type of sex. I'm the only one. Oh, I guess I'm the only one that remember that type. But sometimes I like to have that type of sex. To where it's hot and it's sweaty and it's humid. And your bodies are just all over each other. I personally enjoy it. I'm looking. I'm answering questions. Yeah, I mean, it ain't, it's just like a good-ass workout. You fucking and you sweating and y'all like dogs in heat. And as, and, and as your body's wet and it's hitting and it's clapping and it's making sounds and all of that. Y'all don't like to have fun no more. Y'all get some fucking money and y'all bitches get bullshit. And all of a sudden, you don't like sweat touching your body no more. And but when you were sneaking trying to get the dick at your mama house because y'all ain't have it like that back then, y'all was enjoying it. Y'all don't want to fuck on the flow no more. Y'all don't want to do shit. Y'all want this comfortable ass sex. But then you wonder why he over there at uh, Shaquita house because the fucking mattress poke him a little bit because she got the springs that come up out that bitch because when he bouncing up on her ass, her mattress bouncing his ass back. But over at home, you got fucking memory foam. Let me tell you something. I had got a memory foam mattress after the flood. When we redid our house, we got a memory foam mattress. Mr. Parker was like, I think we ought to do memory foam. Y'all, that was the worst decision we could have ever made for a mattress. I hated fucking on that mattress. I had to get rid of it. We had to get rid of a perfectly good mattress because... You fucking and your feet just get stuck. Your body gets stuck. He, he, he. I'm talking about blowing your fucking back out. Your knees just stuck. And now you got to water your fucking weight. No, 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 no. We ended up having to go to the mattress store, sit on mattresses. I had to bounce on them bitches to make sure they bounce me back. So that I could fuck the way that I like to fuck. So y'all go get money and then y'all get the doing shit and losing your mind. Go, go get that shit when you get old or something. But them memory foam mattresses, I ain't never in life got to ever have that shit again. I absolutely hated it and I'm just speaking for myself. Yes, Nicole. Fucking in the car. Yes, yes, yes. No air, just sweat dripping every fucking well. You, let me tell you why I like fucking in the car. 
Cause you know when you fucking in the car, it ain't you ain't got a lot of room between the back seat and the roof of the car. So a lot of times you can put your feet up on that fucking roof, and bitch, you could throw pussy like you ain't never throw pussy before in your life. Oh, bitch, you could throw some pussy because you got some shit to mount your feet to, and you can fuck his ass back real good. Hot and sweaty and all, but y'all be acting like y'all done forgot. Y'all be just get brand new and act like you forgot. You better turn that fucking air off and go and get you a fucking glass of water and sit on the side of that fucking bed and every now and then y'all motherfuckers reach over and grab it and then go at it again like fucking dogs. Y'all be acting like y'all forgot. I don't know what y'all think. I don't know what y'all be on. Hold on. That's the kind of sex I'm talking about when you be needing a big glass of fucking water after because you done dehydrated yourself. Somebody put up um, a picture up this week of a fucking Gatorade with a little note on it. I thought that was so cute. This week, whatever kind of Gatorade he like, go on ahead and get that Gatorade and put a little sticky note on it and tell him you're going to need this. Eh? <laughs> That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. I'm saying do that because you want to constantly... Remind him to let him know I'm into you. I'm feeling you. I'm digging you. Yes. I'm just going through and I'm just reading some of y'all comments on here. I'm just reading some of your comments on here. That's all. Yeah. So we have covered fluids today. We have covered saliva. We've covered mucus, we've covered sweat, we've covered piss. Yes, we have covered the fluids. What makes them acceptable? What makes some fluids acceptable during sex and others not so acceptable? The answer to that question is your mentality about the fluids. You cannot bring logic into the bedroom. Leave all your fucking common sense on the other side of the fucking door. When you get in that bedroom, you have fun with it. You don't overthink it. Because when you start overthinking it, then you start rationalizing and then you stop having fun with it. And then all of a sudden, you overthinking it and, and you're, not, you're not doing anything anymore. Have fun. Make sounds. Talk to each other. Smell each other. Bite each other. Taste each other. Lick each other. Have fun with it. Stop overthinking sex. Stop worrying about he gonna think I'm crazy. He gonna think I sound silly. No, what he gonna think is this motherfucker like to turn up and I like this shit. Then she willing to leave that bullshit shit on the other side of the door. And when she get in this fucking bedroom, she old nasty, disgusting slut for me. She do this shit for me. Nobody else get to see this side of her but me. That's what he gonna think. Sucking without gagging. All you need is some deep throat spray, baby. That's all you need. Numb the back of your throat so you can take it to the back without gagging. That's all you need. So, of course, if you need some red this week, we do have red here at the PPG store in all sizes, meaning in regular size and plus size. So, for example, this is the plus size. This is the regular size. Meaning we have it in both, okay? We have it in both. This is the plus size. This is the regular size. We have it in both, okay? So, don't ever think that I don't have what you need. I don't care how big your titties are. Come see me. A lot of this stuff is adjustable. A lot of times y'all put too much emphasis on shit that really don't even matter. I promise you, you do. We got the blindfolds, so you could cut off one sense to intensify the others. Or if you just want to add this accessory to your lingerie, we do have the mask. So you want to see what the mask look like, that's what the mask look like. Okay. Also, I noticed that y'all really enjoyed that oral sex this week. And you know what? My page was blocked. So I really, um, I just kind of let y'all have fun with it, with the, um, with the pasta and the barbershop videos and the woman in the car wash and all of this kind of stuff. And if you like her, her name is Miss B Nasty. 
Um, she's on Pornhub. She's a, a actual. Um, she does um, solo porn, meaning that she does porn with her utilizing all kind of toys. And if you pay attention to the toys that she uses, everything she uses high end toys. Okay, so don't think that the toys that she's using are cheap toys. She's using high end shit. Lalo toys. They in the two seventy five price range. Uh, the one that uh flick on the click and lick it. That's one fifty. We have all of this stuff on our website as well, but just know that, you know, you get what you pay for when you're dealing with toys. But if you like the video with Pasta and you want to recreate and you be the um the, the church hall and he the pastor, then have fun with it. That's role playing. Have fun with it. So we do have the sinful strawberry flavored lube. If he's a diabetic, yes, he can use this because it's sugar-free. And yes, this can go on your lady parts because it is sugar-free. So, my people that be on here talking about some old Sharonda, the yeast, and the BV, and the this, and the that, and the other. We're talking about oral sex, okay? You can drizzle this on top of the pussy and let it make it, you know, taste tasty for him. You can drizzle this on the dick and you can suck it and it'll taste tasty for him. And we are, we are fully stocked up with this so you can order it online or come to the store the x on the lips vibrating lip balm yes we are fully stocked up with this as well i love this because you put this on your lips your lips start buzzing and vibrating and then you kiss him then his lips start buzzing and vibrating then he go down and eat the pussy and guess what now your pussy vibrating and buzzing you go suck the dick, not a dick buzzing and vibrating. You go suck and flick and kiss and suck all on his nipples. Now his nipples buzzing and vibrating. Then you go, he go on to suck and kiss on your titties and licking your nipples and shit. Now they buzzing and vibrating. Everywhere the lips touch are buzzing and vibrating. The price for this is $25. The price for this big bottle is $16.99. Okay? So... Make sure you have lots of oral sex. Make sure you're having fun with it because I'm going to tell you, y'all was getting excited and, and I got excited about the pastor too. But you know, a lot of lesbian women was like, oh, he ain't doing shit. He ain't doing shit. Come over here to death row. And I said, no, bitch, I'm staying in general population. That's where I'm going to hang out at. Okay? I like the way the pastor ate the pussy. Yeah, it could have been a little, more you know, a little more sloppy, but I was saying, you know, for a man his age, and he ain't stroked out and he ain't got crooks in his neck and his body ain't hurting. He was doing pretty good for a man his age. Shit, if, if I'm that age and uh, he that age and we in our 50s and 60s and you look at my pussy like that, I'm going to be all right with you. I'm going to be all right with you. I like the way he went down to that asshole too. And he went and visited that area and then he came on back up with it. You all right with me, Pastor? Okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh. I should have answered that question. That buzzing and vibrating lasts about 20 minutes. Okay? 20 minutes. Great. Like the woman said, she was sucking dick on the way home. I know that that shit was amazing. Because there's no way that you can put this shit on your lips and you ain't had no experience. Because I was just like, okay? Because see, when your lips get to doing all that shit, you're going to want to do something with them. I'm telling you not. You're going to want to do something with them. Let's see, let's see. Website, www.dppgstore.com. www.dppgstore.com. I'm also going to be doing a book signing at the meet and greet this week. So I will have books on hand. If you have not purchased your copy, go on the website or come into the store and get it. I will sign it if it has not been signed. Yes, I am taking pictures. No, I do not act brand new when I get around people. The same way you see me right now is the same way I am when you see me in person. So don't be acting like um, Auntie Sharonda ain't going to hug you and love up on you and take pictures and party with you. Because one thing about me, I know how to party. I'm not one of them people that sit around and wait on everybody else to have a good time. No, bitch. I know how to have a good time when I go somewhere. And I talk to everybody. The people I know and the people that I don't know too. So I'm just letting you know. Ahead of time. I'm coming Wednesday to have a good time. Okay? That's all I'm coming for is to have a fucking good time. Alright? This is the weekday. This is the time where I normally be, you know, at home and doing all kind of other shit with my churn. 
I'm gonna step out, put on me some nice clothes, and bitch, I'm coming. I'm coming through with my fucking red lips, okay? I'm wearing my red lips. All right. Well, this one was planned because we did the, the costume party on a Friday night, okay? I had a lot of ladies that came on Friday night because they knew that they wouldn't be able to come on Wednesday night, okay? So if you're talking about Friday and Saturday, you missed that day. We did Friday already, okay? So with that being said, this is on a Wednesday night. The same way y'all go to that no che on a Wednesday, y'all come through. It's from 6 to 9, and it's no cover charge. All right, and for December, I think I'm going to plan Naughty Bingo with a Naughty Santa. How many of y'all want to take pictures across Santa's lap getting spanked? How many of y'all, just by a round of applause, let me know because I'm going to charge $20 for the Naughty Bingo that's going to come with your um, your bingo marker that's going to come with your, um, I'm saying bingo marker, your bingo cards, the things that we're going to be uh, winning, you're going to be winning like door swings, position aids, meaning night shit. Okay, we playing bingo for night shit, swings and shit. We're not playing bingo for no fucking bullet. Okay, and I ain't knocking nobody else on how they do naughty bingo, but I just feel like if I sell, uh, if we doing uh, 50 ladies, because that's what the room hold, 50 ladies, and we doing $20 a ticket, and that's going to include your game cards and all of that kind of stuff, light bikes and refreshments, I, yeah, we, we doing some nice gifts, okay? Um... What else? I'm going to have a Santa Claus here. We're going to have the backdrop set up so that you can lay across Santa lap and take your picture with the naughty Santa. Okay? And maybe you don't want to take the picture laid across his lap because you're a married woman. Okay? Maybe you want to take the picture standing on the side of Santa. Okay? Maybe you want to take the pictures on your knees. You know, like you about to give Santa a blowjob. Okay, maybe you want to get in the riding position with Santa. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Maybe you just want to traditionally sit on Santa lap. Either way it go, we will be doing the photo shoots here with Santa. We're going to be doing digital photos, okay? Um, if that sounds like it's going to be fun to you and something that you want to do and come here and enjoy Naughty Bingo with Naughty Santa, yes. You know, naughty bingo. If you holler bingo and you don't have bingo, then bitch, I'm gonna be, I, I'm gonna have my paddle. So I can bend you over and, and spank you. Because you hollered out a turn. Yes. Naughty bingo is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be hosting it myself. Um, we're getting everything and making preparations for it. So, you know, you might wanna bring your mom to bingo with you. This might be a, a, a nice ladies' night for. You know, your, you, your mom, and your aunties, the ladies in your family. I already know that these tickets are going to go a lot. They're going to go real fast, okay? So, yes, I will be hosting Naughty Bingo. That will be our December activity. I'm not doing anything for November, okay, because we did two back-to-back. -back. We did the sexy costume party, and we're doing the meet and greet. So, the next thing is going to be December, which will be the Naughty Bingo with the Naughty Santa. All right? All right. Y'all getting in positions together? <laughs> and of course, y'all can come dress how you want. If you want to dress in Christmas attire, fine. If you want to wear red, fine. If you want to dress like Mrs. Claus or one of the Santa's helpers, fine. If that's what you're interested in, inbox me. um, Because I can order those little outfits for you if that's what you want to do. If you like me, I, I love a thing because I be dressed like Mrs. Claus. I'm just letting you know that right now. I'm going to be dressed like Mrs. Claus. I got a few different little Mrs. Claus outfits. I will be dressed like Mrs. Claus. Oh, the date. Let me tell you. The tentative date that I'm looking at is... Oh, girl. This is how you know your auntie getting old, girl. I got to hold it up to my face. Um, I'm looking at December the 21st. That is going to be a Saturday. December the 21st is the tentative date. I know you're going to have a lot of other Christmas parties going on. That was why I kind of wanted to do a Thursday night. Because during that time, a lot of people um, 
do Christmas parties, but y'all saying Fridays and Saturdays will work better for y'all. Um, so I'm looking at December 21st to do the naughty bingo. All right, any other questions, concerns, comments? Questions, concerns, comments. I'm putting the date on here, the tentative date. December 21st at 9 p.m. All right, I put it on there. With that being said, that is going to conclude Sex Talk with Sharonda. Make sure you come see me. Um, make sure you like and share. Make sure you register on my website. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. And I think that's about it. All right. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Let's see here.